Step into reading three. Baseball ballerina, chapter one. Ballet lessons. I love to play ball. I play shortstop on a team called the Sharks. We wear neat hats and cool green T-shirts. Mom thinks baseball is for boys. She wants me to do more girl things. That is how I got stuck taking ballet lessons. I have pink tights and pink slippers. Mom puts a pink ribbon in my hair. She says, "Pink is for girls." I hate pink. In class, I sit next to my best friend, Mary Ann. She is the catcher for the Sharks. Her mother made her take ballet too. Mary Ann and I have a deal. We must keep ballet a secret. If the other sharks found out, they would laugh. They would think we were wimps. Madam is our teacher. She is very old and very strict. Mary Ann said she saw her smile once. I must have blinked because I missed it. Every class starts the same. First. We line up at the bar, then we practice the five positions: first position, second position, third position. I make a face. There is only one position for me: short stop. Sometimes I pretend I am up at bat. Madam is our coach. Heels on the floor, shoulders back, point the toes. She shouts, "Who knows? Maybe pointy toes will help my swing." Madam loves flowers. Last week we were buttercups. This week we are dandelions. Pretend you are a dandelion swaying in the wind. She says, she waves her arms. Look, I'm stuck in a tornado. Mary Ann whispers. She spins around and around really fast. I giggle. Madam walks over to Mary Ann. My friend is in trouble now, but our teacher smiles. Very lively, my dear, she says. Chapter two, recital blues. One day after class, Madam has some news. In two weeks, there will be a recital. You will get to dance on a big stage. I feel like I just got hit with a line drive. I do not want to dance on a big stage. I do not want to dance on any stage. What if someone sees me? What if the sharks see me? They will think I like girl stuff. They will not want a ballerina for a shortstop. Madam puts her arm around Mary Ann. She tells the class, "You will be doing the dance of the dandelions. Mary Ann will be queen dandelion." Everyone claps. They pat my friend on the back. Too bad, I say to Mary Ann, but she looks happy. I wonder if I get to wear a crown, she says. For the next two weeks, we get ready for the big night. It is worse than I thought. We have to wear green tights with lace on them. We have to wear big fluffy hats. I flap my leaves at Mary Ann. Look at me! I say, I'm wilting. But she does not laugh. Something strange is happening to my friend. It started when Madam chose her to be Queen Dandelion. She does get to wear a special crown. Sometimes she even wears it home. Chapter three, the big night. It is the big night. I am nervous. I peek out from behind the curtain. I see my mother and my baby sister. Strike one. I see my uncle Ethan and my aunt Agnes strike too, and then I see them. 
They are sitting in the third row. They are wearing neat hats and cool green t-shirts. It is the sharks! Strike three! The sharks are out there. I tell Mary Ann. They will laugh at us. They will think we are wimps. But my friend just smiles. I hope they will like my crown, she says. I feel sick, but Madam says, the show must go on. I close my eyes. I pretend I am about to play in the World Series. I am still nervous, but I cannot let the team down. I do not think about the sharks. Tonight, my team is called the Dandelions. The curtain goes up. Heels on the floor, shoulders back, point the toes. Now it is time for Queen Dandelion. Mary Ann leaps on stage. Suddenly, her crown flies off her head. Up, up, up it goes. It is a high pop. The crowd gasps. I dance across the stage. I make the catch. Everyone cheers. Mary Ann giggles. Afterward, the sharks give me high fives. You were great, they say. I feel like I just hit a home run. Maybe ballet isn't so bad after all, but I still like baseball best. <laughs>